Happy Sunday, Virgo. Happy Sunday to you. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. My name is Nikki. This is a message for you. I hope it resonates. It's, if it does not, please, please, please leave it for the next Virgo. Are you making the right decision? No matter what that decision is, it's something that's been on your mind, something that you have been thinking of, Virgo, but are you ultimately making the right decision? Okay. Are you ultimately making the right decision or are you following someone else's lead? All right, I have to get more information. I got opportunity. Get more information about this opportunity. Just because it looks good to you, it may not be good for you. Okay, this could be you about. This could be you look, thinking about just merely thinking about looking for another job. Okay, maybe this is something that you want to do. It could be you wanting to move, move, move on, uh, move on from one apartment to a house, or buy another car, or put a down payment on something. Are you making the right decision, Virgo? I got no. I got let go. No and let go. It's unlikely right now that you're making the right decision. Okay. Uh, but why is now not the right time for you to do whatever it is you're wanting to do? To make the decision. Love. You got a bright future. Um, a relationship should be the last thing on your mind at the moment. You got other things that's a little bit more important than love. Okay, uh, the romantic, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. We got to stop worrying. Everything will, everything is going to be okay. You know, um, I just feel like this is not the right time. We got to get more information. There may be something about a relationship or you're thinking about dating or starting to date or it could be just the other way around. Maybe you don't want to date and Spirit is saying you're more ready to date than you think. All right. You have a bright future no matter what it is. But you're saying, nope, I don't want a relationship. I don't want to date. You can keep that, that so-called significant other out of my energy field and out of my face. No, thank you. We have your bodies of water. Spend time in your water, such as a lake, river, or ocean, to recharge your batteries. Okay, uh, you may just, you know, need some comfort, need some company. All right, honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. You know, you don't, you're not ready for a relationship at the moment. There's so much other stuff. There's so many other opportunities that are at foot for you, that are headed your way. It's like you're not putting relationships off forever. You're just putting them off right now because you're just not. You're not in it right now to win it as far as a relationship is concerned. There are other things in your life that you want to do to pursue other dreams that you want to do. You have a bright future with love or whatever it is. This opportunity is going to present itself. But uh, there could be some energy around someone at some point is going to approach you. But you're going to tell them, no, I'm not interested. Thank you very much. Okay. 21. You're not ready. You're not ready for love right now. This spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. Uh, it's just like, I'm just not ready right now. All right. Uh, you may feel it in your heart that you're not ready. But when you get in to this person's energy field, it may be, it may feel so, so inviting. It's going to be just the right time. Even though you think you're not ready, you may be ready more than you think you are. All right. Everything has a higher purpose here. This relationship, this connection, whether you don't see it coming, whether you're ready for it, there's a huge, huge opportunity to it. But you say, no, no, no love right now. Okay. I'm actually, before I started this reading, I was listening to a song in my head. It was playing over and over again, Wait on Love by Michael Bowden. Okay. Holding on until you found the one. Okay. But I definitely feel like this person is coming into your life in the divine timing. Whether you're ready for them or not, I think I feel like it's going to be a beautiful thing for you. But you're not. But you're not ready. Connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. That's something that you've really been doing a lot of. A lot of meditation, meditating in the tub, a hot tub outside, walking in the park or whatever, and saying you you know having a personal talk between you and God. And you say you know I don't want a relationship. I've experienced some of the worst of the worst in relationships, and I don't want to deal with this anymore. Mm -mm. I can't take it anymore. So you're listening to the cycles and rhythms of your body. Okay. Okay. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. Tell me just what a fool I've been. Okay. Apology. 
So, yeah, you know, this is you're tired of hearing people from your past apologize for you, but it's hard for you to forgive because so many people have done you wrong and you're sick and tired of being hurt. You're sick and tired of going through some things in your life. It's like, I'm not going to do this anymore. And because you don't want to go through these unhealthy energies in your uh, in your life anymore, those unhealthy relationships, you're just choosing to cut people off. You don't want relationships. You're definitely trying to find a way to realign yourself with who you truly are. And, you know, you just don't want to be bothered. You possibly don't even hang out as much as you used to with family members and friends. You just want to get back to knowing you all over again. Share your perspective for a gained sense of clarity. You know, you've had conversations with people. And, you know, we got fear here. All right. Expecting the worst, afraid of failure, wasting time on negative thoughts because you've experienced it before. You've experienced heartache and pain before and you don't want to experience it, it, it again. So you're just putting relationships and getting to know people on the back burner. It's like, I don't have time for this. So I feel like uh, if you are, what are you thinking about doing? You know, it could be, like I said, love, home, relationships, whatever it is you want to do, a new job. You're thinking twice about it, but this new opportunity may benefit you in the long run, you know, um, almost as if give it a chance, you know, we have to get more information, you know, open up yourself more to the idea, though it may scare you a little bit. Okay. There's a huge opportunity, no matter what that opportunity that is here is coming for you, but you say, Nope, I'm not going to, I'm letting this go. It's unlikely, highly unlikely that I'm going to meet somebody else that I would want to meet somebody else at this point in time in my life. I just don't want to, you know, I've been through so much right now. I've been through so much through the storm way too many times. I don't want to do it again. Are you making the right decision? Yes. Got the Ten of Cups. You know, in spite of everything, you know, um, if you give it a chance, and, and it's the, yeah, everything is a risk. Be the risk taker that you know you can be. And you're still going to come out on top. That's, wish, that's wish fulfillment. Okay? Wish fulfillment. That's getting to know someone better. That's, you know, what they're saying that. You know, things have happened so fast in my life. I know that I need to move forward. I know that I need to let some things go. I'm just going to go for the gusto and, and do it. You know, it's like getting more information, uh, getting to know that person better, making sure that this is the location where you want to move to, making sure that there are any, any, aren't any kind of complaints about a new job you want to apply for or whatever, checking out the area where you want to move to, the safety area of where you want to work, whatever the situation is. And that's finding that balance in your life. This is ba balancing the good and the bad, you know, the, the yin to your yang. Uh, the pros and the cons and going to come up with an opportunity that's best for you. Is it suited for me or not? Am I just shifting myself into a negative pattern? Am I afraid? More than likely. But you can do this though. You can stand still and do what you need to do. You can stand tall and nurture yourself within this energy because you've been hurt a lot. All right. And you don't trust easy. Whether it be relationships, areas where you move, your friends, you know, people who have, who have done you wrong. It, it's all about moving on from this, finding that peace, that little tidbit of uh, forgiveness and moving on from that and not staying stuck in that sepulchre, not staying stuck in that current position that you're in. Okay. Free, being free to live your life and do what you want with it. All right. You may be afraid. Okay, but don't shoot that opportunity down because of the things that you did in the past or what you experienced in the past. It's like you love blinded you, a relationship blocked you from moving forward, an opportunity at work blocked you from moving to the top, climbing the top of that corporate ladder, and you thought you were going to get there, but they gave the job and the opportunity to somebody else. But you said, I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm done. Mm -mm, I'm done. But, but I feel like that's what's holding you back, fear. It's holding you back because you failed in the past, but you felt like you failed, but it wasn't my fault. It was somebody else who I trusted that was going to get me to the next level. They went behind my back and they, they schemed to get my place or took what was the, what was supposed to be mine. Okay, we have here the Queen of Cups. Speaking your, yourself into existence. What is it that you want with your life? We got the world here. We got completion. We got this world that awaits you. It's, it's not about giving up. I didn't say you gave up. I said that you possibly are afraid. There's some fear holding you back. But would you be able to make this decision? Yes. You will be a success. 
you know, it's not as an oxymoron. It's not as an ox, as much as an oxymoron is what I'm hearing as you think it is. You can do anything you set your mind to, but you're worried that you're not going to be able to grow and evolve. You're already starting to grow. It's almost as if those seeds have been planted and now they're finally coming up. You're, you're able to see the fruit of your labor. It may not be a lot, but eventually they're going to bloom. They're going to bloom big time, but it starts with you. Okay, it starts with you. It starts with divine timing. It starts with you activating that that energy of not being afraid. Even if you go and do what you are meant to do, even if you fail, you keep on going forward. That's just a learning uh, mechanism. It's going to keep you moving forward, keeping you not giving up and saying, you know what? No matter how many times I fall, I'm going to get back up and keep on going until I reach the des destination I was meant to reach. Okay. Are you making the right decision? Maybe there's something that you need to apologize to someone for or, or, or vice versa. There could be somebody in your family who has some sort of, of disease or some sort of ailment that's keeping them wheelchair bound or homebound or something like that. But they're your family and you love them and they appreciate you for everything you've done. You've possibly been a care person, a care provider for this person. You've done so much for this person and you hate to leave them, but you feel a duty. To do for this person because they can't really do for themselves and you feel like you don't trust you don't trust anybody else around them all right it could be a family member it could be a child a, um, a spouse it could be someone who is autistic or uh, somebody who has ms or or was just you know maybe they had a limb um they lost a limb due to complications of diabetes or something like this or but you feel bound by them. You feel like this is your duty. Um, but I feel like that's, a, that's one of the reasons why you're being held back. Is because this person depends on you. And there's nobody else that can do like you can. And you're afraid to leave this person with anybody. You're afraid to put this person in a home. Or some sort of facility. Because you gave them a promise. Um, but you're always holding on to this. You're always holding on to your responsibilities. And this responsibility shouldn't just have to follow on you, especially if you have sisters and brothers or if you have somebody in your family who can take care of this person just as well as you can. But you feel like your person who you love uh, res respects your wishes and, and um, depends on you because nobody does it the way you do it. And you're afraid to leave somebody else in their custody. You don't want to leave anybody else with them. To take care of them because you want to make sure this person is treated right and that's why you feel so anxious about putting them in a home or some sort of sort of facility where other people will take care of them outside of you or your family the members that you do trust and you're just so afraid but you know that they will do so much better they will win better in another situation and it's, it's not undercutting what you have done for this person with how much you've cared for this person please believe and understand that don't upset yourself for doing what's right, doing for what's best for them. You didn't fail. You didn't fail them. You didn't fail yourself. This just is, this just is, this is an opportunity for you to say, you know what? I got to live my life too. I've done all I can possibly do. There's nothing else that I can physically do for them other than love them. And placing them into an environment that's going to be beneficial for them in the long run. Even more beneficial. All right. Never ever undercut, undercut your contribution to this person's well-being, all right? You, you got to know that what you're doing for them or thinking about doing for them is for the best. It's, it's, with, best in, it's with your best intentions included, okay? Are you making the right decision, Rebecca? Are you making the right decision? Work on making the right decisions here. Trust. You gotta trust what your what your heart is telling you to do, and and you trust your decision and don't be afraid because I, I see a lot of fear here. So you don't think that you're making the right decision, so you keep stopping. I feel like you're going back and forth, back and forth. One minute you're going to do it, the next minute you say, I changed my mind. It's best that I just stay here. It's best that I keep watch over this person myself. You know, I better not put this person in the home. This person never wants to be put in, put in some sort of facility. Okay. We got to look for another sign. I think in the near future, you will almost have to make a decision. If you do. 
you're going to come to a peaceful resolution no matter what it is. It's what's best for all involved. And don't feel guilty about doing what you have to do for somebody else's comfort and even for your own. You know, forgiveness. You're asking for forgiveness that you don't have to ask for. All right. Because you're doing what's best for you and don't feel guilty about that. And I feel like that's that's you. That's who you are. You're such a caring person. You're such a beautiful uh, caregiver. You care about people's feelings. You care what happens to other people. But what about yourself? Okay. To thine own self to be true, Virgo. Trust that you're making the right decision. Don't be afraid to to move on don't be afraid to do what's best for you okay because you 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 take care of everybody else and you are, are a guardian over some over someone's else interest but what about you you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected not only are you safe on this journey they are safe too so they're saying go ahead and live your life virgo go ahead and do you they will be well provided for i will be i will i can assure you of that okay so they're not alone your spirit guides and your angels your ancestors are going to take care of them it's time for you to pursue your dreams to take care of you no need to worry don't worry about this don't feel the need to apologize this is be way 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 beyond your control okay Is Virgo making the right decision for themselves? A golden opportunity. And yeah, I see peace too, but a golden opportunity here for you. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Don't let this opportunity pass you by out of, out of obligation for somebody else. They're going to be well taken care of, well provided for. It's your turn now. It's your turn to experience life, to do what you need to do for your own well-being. Okay? And we have here, you're going to find peace here, though. That's what, you, that's what you must realize. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully for you. It is. There's going to be a peaceful resolution here for you. And I feel like this is going to come with you for within the next few weeks, this decision that you need to make is going to come at you. I think it's already in the works. You're already making a decision, thinking about doing something here. But don't worry. There's going to be a peaceful resolution here for you. There's no need for you to worry. You're doing what's best for you, and you're doing what's best for them. In the long run, everybody is going to be at peace. Okay? You can't let guilt or false guilt hold you back and keeping you stuck in a situation that you're not happy in anyway. There's nothing that you need to ask for forgiveness for. There's nothing else that you need to do but keep on being who you truly are. Okay? Let's get a final card. All right. Is everything okay with you? Will everything be okay with you? You're doing what's best for you. You got rest, 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 I'm saying reciprocity. Okay? Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. You've given so much of yourself to others. It's starting to age you. It's, try, it's starting to show. It's almost as if you know what you got to do, what you got to do. Listen to your body. Okay? Listen to your body, Virgo. You know that you need to, to switch things up. You need to move on. Because right now, that's not the right time. Is it ever going to be the right time? Is it ever going to be the right time for you to move forward? You just got to let go. Every time you say you want to do this, every time you want to do that, you keep on stopping yourself. Wait, I can't do this. I can't leave him like this. I can't leave her like that. You got to make a decision. You really do. And I feel like if you don't make that decision, it's going to be made for you. Okay? So we're going to make the right decision. Whatever that is for you. We got rest. Listen to your body mentally and physically unwind. Get some rest. You know, it's all about the cycles and rhythms of your body. Because you have a bright future no matter what it is you decide to do. Don't worry. Because your resources and everything you desire is going to be re re rewarded to you because of, what, because of how helpful you've been to this person or whatever. Okay? Listen to this. I'm going to listen to the rhythm of the fallen rain. Okay? <laughs> Honor. The cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. What are you being guided to do? What is it that you think about doing? Where is it that you want to go? Okay. When you rest and you really lay your heart out on the table, then you'll see, I got I to gotta move on. I got to do something else. 
So you're making a decision that's best for you. It's going to create some balance in your life. Uh, I'm say J. <laughs> uh, I'm, I don't know why I just heard J. But it's going to have. It's going to find some. You're going to find some balance in your life because you're juggling too many things at once. It's time to find time for yourself. That's why we got the rest card here. You're not getting rest. You got to find this resting resting space in your life. It's going to help you make some decisions, some critical decisions that should have been made a long time ago. You're not the only person that can do this job. You're not the only person that can take care of that, that, that loved one. Okay? We have this strength in you. Determination, perseverance, and self-discovery. I've been determined to help this person to persevere so they can live their life to the fullest. I have to find myself now. I got to find the strength in me to move on, to let go. It's not that I don't love this person. I don't love this environment or whatever, but it's time for me to move on. Be open to change because you're overcoming these obstacles. Yeah. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. Okay? Overcoming these obstacles. Obstacles. Get back on your feet. Gain strength from difficult situations. It's like you're going to have the strength to, to let go. Okay? To do what's best ultimately for you. Because you got to live your life. You still got to live your life. You can't live their life for them. Okay? You can't be putting, putting, keep putting yourself in a situation that is constantly, constantly, that is constantly wearing you down. And you don't feel like you can get out of this, but you can. I just heard straighten up and fly right, Virgo. You got this. You got it. Let's get the final message. One card for Virgo. Moving on. Are they making the best decision that they can possibly make for themselves? Came out again. Bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Bottom of the deck. Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. Yes, you're making the right decision, but you ultimately you got to do what's best for you. You can't care about everybody else so much that you keep putting your life on hold for them. 